I'm Russell. And I'm Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel. So we are at week two of the Jeffrey Court Renovation Challenge. We're so excited you guys are back. We have a lot of progress to share today and some really ridiculous stuff that we tried to do. Yeah, and cool stuff we yeah. did. Cool. And because this is part of the Jeffrey Court Renovation Challenge, we need your votes to your win. Votes. So don't forget to take a minute to hit that link in the description at the end of the video and vote for us. You can vote once a day. We would just be happy for you to vote. Um, we love your support. It's you guys that make these kind of things possible. So thank you. Thank you. Now let's keep going. So in case you haven't seen the first video, week one we came up with the design and we framed and cladded and walled, walled and cladded uh, playhouse. Well, our first video was actually the first two weeks of our build. Right. It was really exciting, we got lots of progress done. And this week we're moving forward, we're actually lifting the playhouse off the ground, onto the piles. We are building out the little deck and building some stairs, so it's gonna be a pretty drastic change from last week. And a busy week. Very busy. Week one, we mentioned we're part of an awesome challenge with Jeffrey Court and eight other awesome bloggers. We're talking all-stars, we're talking best of the best, and we're doing a competition against them. This is the all-star renovation challenge. We are all renovating a space, and we are building a playhouse, the ultimate, Playhouse, playhouse for our kids. Yeah. If you missed last week's post about the design plans and the build plans, check them out up top. I will link it for you and you can see everything that we've done up to this point. This post was sponsored by Schlage. Um, they provided us the lock set and the hinges for our door. For custom, our custom yeah, build. Door. So what did we do this week? It was a busy week. What did we start by doing? I think tinning, no, soffit, and then tinning. Oh yes, yeah. yes. It feels like ages ago. It does, yeah. And we also got the house wrap on. Yes. So if you don't know what soffit is, it's the stuff under the roof line. And it just gives airflow to the underside of the roof. Yeah, we did soffit, we did the, uh, we put the tin on the roof and all the flashing. Um, Lindy would not go on the roof with me, but uh, she did hand me tools. Significant fear of heights over here. Yeah, and that was only 10 feet off, maybe 11 or 12 feet off the ground, <laughs> but that wasn't even up in the air yet. <laughs> and then we attempted to put piles into the ground. Screw piles. So if you don't know what screw piles are, they're, uh, steel tube and they have a helical end on the end that's pitched so that when you turn it, it actually grabs the earth and goes down. I have a friend who works for a screw pile company and he had told me he had done a project, which I didn't get all the details from him initially. Um, but he put his own screw piles in. Yeah, and I was like, hey, if he did it, I can do it. I uh, got him to cut the helical ends and press them. I got some steel pipe. I welded it all up in the shop. And I was like, let's put in some screw piles. We had a day we thought we could get all six, six screw in. piles into the ground. Awesome. Good to go. Um, about a day later, we had one pile 70% complete, and I was like, what did I do? I will show you the video. Insert video here. Yeah. We went round and round in circles like fools. Yeah, about four hours. For four hours and got four feet into the ground. Or five. And it Maximum was seven. five feet. <laughs> it into was a the seven ground. foot pile. Um, we, at the end, we were gaining like maybe a 16th or an eighth of an inch after three or five minutes of walking. So I was like, this isn't gonna work. Um, I stopped, I was like, new plan. We need a new plan. This is taking a whole day, a whole evening. And we're not even done. And we have five more to go. So we have one pile almost into the ground. It's not moving as much and I need it to go a little bit lower. So I think we're gonna have to try and rent equipment. Yeah, we're calling this a fail. It was worth a try. We tried to do it for free, basically. <laughs> and we are not strong enough. Don't have enough weight to push on it while we pull, while we uh, push. We don't have weight to push down while we push that way. So, so it's not going down. I'm gonna see if I can rent an attachment for a bobcat. I have access to a bobcat. So see on to plan B. Plan B. 
So wish us Fingers luck. crossed. I looked into renting equipment. Well, you can't rent the helical screw pile guy. They're screw pile attachments for Bobcats. Um, they want to do it themselves and that doesn't save me money. Um, <laughs> I talked to my brother and it's always the big brother to the rescue. So huge shout out to my brother there. But uh, he has a backhoe and we're like, hey, I think ultimately what we need is just some pressure on this thing. So we use the backhoe uh, back bucket and put pressure on the top of the pile and then we would spin it down and then it went down. We had it, we could do a pile in like 15 or 20 minutes. So they so, did five and a half piles in a couple of hours yeah. where we spent four hours walking in circles. We didn't have to go to the gym after that day. Foolish. So. <laughs> And also, we later found out that his friend that put his own piles in the took ground- Took 44 hours, which I should have asked for it in the <laughs> over detail. 40 hours to yeah. put his in. So yeah. thank goodness we didn't try and do it all ourselves. Anyways, it worked. But the screw piles are an awesome foundation and this thing shouldn't move. We're well below the frost line. Thanks to his brother first, and his giant picker truck. First I had to weld all the brackets. Do they care about that? Yeah. Do you guys care about that? Okay, once the piles were in, I had to put all the top brackets on where my six by six post would attach to. And this also gave us our final placement of the house and made sure everything was square. The square is key to making life simple for anything, building, renovation, life, square is good. <laughs> once we had all the piles ready and now the house, we had the roof on, it was cladded, we had the house wrap on, we needed to get the house onto the piles. The piles were set four feet off the ground, which this was a bit of a discussion between Lindy and I. She was worried that the kids would fall off. And I was like, well, they can't get, the deck has railing, the windows, I mean, they can't get through them. I so. just got worried. I got worried for my Kids place. go into tree houses all the time. But as, and if I'm going up, I need it high enough so they can go under. So four feet was the magic number. I will also note that this is the first argument or discussion right. that we even had about this playhouse. This has been the smoothest renovation. renovation. We should build playhouses. We've all the time. tackled. There was no heated discussions. I <laughs> love Thanks. her, but sometimes she has the wrong. Sometimes I'm always right. <laughs> and it wasn't even that heated because I explained my take and, and I, said, I let him have it. And I said it would be safe and that apparently was the key. Yes. So it should be safe. Fortunately, my brother has a service company, um, and with that, he has big picker trucks. Now, I wanted his big one, but that one didn't fit in our yard, so we had to go with a medium-sized one, which was still pretty cool. He actually came, we spent an evening lining everything up, and we lifted our house onto the new pile. Which was pretty cool. We had, you'll see it in some of the videos, um, we had a little bit of a challenge just trying to even out the load, just because it's really heavy to the one side, we found out with the higher wall and the mezzanine or the loft floor. Um, but we got it figured out and we lifted it. He figured, like, as it sat in that video, it was about 2,500 to 3,000 pounds. And that's, yeah, crazy. That's without all the stuff inside yeah. and without the siding, yeah. without the decking, Windows. without, yeah, it's crazy. place we had to put some temporary bracing in and that is gonna get fixed later down the road with something that looks pretty but this is just to keep it stable until that gets addressed. Now that we had the playhouse up on the piles we could actually build our little modern door. Russell got to work we modeled the design of the door after our own front door which is if you haven't seen it looks like this. And I also, it was modeled after that and also modeled after the scrap wood that I had in my garage. <laughs> I had a bunch of extra inch and three quarter thick uh, solid maple from some table builds that I had done. And I was like, that would make a killer door because what playhouse doesn't need a solid maple <laughs> door? 
Actually, as of right now, it's probably my favorite part of the house. It looks really cool and it was really fun to build and I think it just adds a cool wow factor. We got a bowery knob and we got grace and trim for our handle for the playhouse as well as some beautiful black hinges. So everything we ordered was in matte black from Schlag so that we could just have everything blend sort of seamlessly and look really modern and sleek. And as a bonus, I was able to find a full door kit, a uh, door frame kit from the local Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, I had to modify it obviously because the door was a custom size, but I just had to make it smaller so that works. So then we have like the full seal package, the bottom aluminum sill, like it's a full fledged door. While the door, we had the design, we had it all cut and then it was getting glued and finished, we started building the deck. We actually used composite decking. Again, if you watched our other video, you know that we wanted this to be a zero main playhouse no staining and painting later on so we did use composite decking so that went down really easily in just a couple of hours um, the color looks amazing it was super easy to add on and it was such a small space that it wasn't really a big dollar item no. and then once we had the decking down we were able to start building the stairs we were able to get some steel risers um, just from the local hardware store when we did our lumber kit um, we just for that you give them the height of what your deck is going to sit at and then they figure out how many steps um, you need once we got the stairs built then we could move on to the railing from the railing, we uh, again, we were looking for stuff that was quick. So we found pre-finished um, three quarter inch rods for the vertical balusters. I don't know what the technical names are for. I found some plastic post bases that had a good review on Amazon. I mean, some people didn't like them, but most people really liked them and they actually worked out really nice. Yeah. We built the deck, built the stairs, built the rail, which took a little bit of figuring out to get all the rail balusters yeah. lined up which was partly my fault. When I laid out all the wood structure, I kind of shot from the hip. Don't do it that way, don't plan it out, plan it out. But, but we, we did it eventually. We did it. We figured and, it out yeah. together. Yeah, and uh, it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really great. Once we had it built, we took it down, primed the whole railing with Kills Primer. The door we had, um, a little bit of discussion. We were debating if we should stain it or if we should paint it, just because it is maple. Um, the reason we went with, so we decided paint on the outside just because I think it's gonna give it a bit more protection and it also is gonna match the look. And then also because we have a molding hiding or holding in the plexiglass, it was easier to hide all that. And then the inside, as of right now, I think we're planning to stain it and, and, and uh, varnish it. And there. then we used bare paint in the color Carbon, which is a deep black color. We went with a satin, and, and it's the exterior semi, no, semi gloss. Yeah, on the marquee line. Yeah. We painted the exterior of the door with that black. It looked awesome. Yeah. And we also painted all of our stair rails, to match. all the wooden pieces in the same color. with how it looks now with the door in place and the railings in. So the door is installed. We have a beautiful Schlage knob. It's so pretty and it's perfect. So I think the design is like perfect. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, this does need another touch up with paint, but I just want to let this paint kind of harden and I can give it a light sand. We also need to change these seals to black. And then also we did, like I made my own brick molding for the more door but that all has to be um, sanded and painted but I mean that's all minor stuff compared yeah. to actually building the door so yeah we have rails and a door we're all closed up it's all sealed up inside it's very exciting our next step will be to do siding and stuff um, but we're so happy with where it is right now yeah no it's coming along it looks awesome it's I don't know everything's working as planned so that's good Yay!
that's it for this week. We got a ton of stuff done. It was a busy week again. It was again. a busy week and it's gonna continue to be busy weeks. If you get a chance and you wanna support our build and you love what we're doing, don't forget to vote. I will leave a link in the description. You can vote for our playhouse to win the Jeffrey Court Renovation Challenge. We'd love your support. We're having a blast building this house. So we hope you're enjoying following along. We're gonna have three more videos in this series. Um, so stay tuned. We uh, love to hear what you guys have to think. Let us know. Um, if you have any questions about what we did this week, definitely comment below and we'll try our best to answer. And thanks so much for following along. Thank you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, hit the bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation videos. So, if you don't remember wait, from- Wait, so wait. Oh, you don't go. have to start every sentence with so. So listen, <laughs> Week one, we mentioned- <laughs> you, just, you were trying not to say <laughs> so. So? <laughs> so. <laughs> Man, that's all I That's what I said, isn't it? You said stairs. Oh. I think you can find out after in the video who's right. I will edit this appropriately. <laughs>